Those days I've been immersed myself with the concept of creating the clear and the minimalistic render that we see all the time across the internet and that leading to digging into the rabbit hole and making new project ending up with really really different result. When working on this project I found that this type of render converge into a thing lighting and compositing. So in this step by step tutorial I'm gonna show you how I did the lighting and the compositing for these two renders and giving you also some extra tip along the way. So feel free to grab the project file down below and follow along. Now we're gonna start. If you grab the project file down below, you will start in what I see. An RTX model that look nice and good. We're gonna start building our scene first. I'm gonna add the plane and I'm gonna rotate it and placing it behind my object and setting it as a background. Then I'm gonna hit shift A to add a camera and like I'm pressing zero to go on the camera view and I'm gonna move it back. Now it's a good time to start working on lighting. I'm gonna select my plane and I'm gonna go to the shader editor and press this new button to give it a new material. Then I'm gonna delete the principal PSDF and replace it with an emission shader. Like this shader is my default shader for my background. Like I always use it on all my projects. Now I'm gonna select the empty and give that some rotation. Then I'm gonna add an area light and I'm gonna move it side. In the front view, give that some rotation. Like this light represent our key light. If you don't know what is the key light, go and watch my video and you will understand. Like in here, I'm just tweaking, move it up and down, like trying to get some light in the front side of my product. Feel free to pause this and go to experiment with this until you get like what you want. Now I'm gonna select it and press Shift T to duplicate it. And I'm gonna move it back, giving to that a different variation by rotating it on the Z axis. Now I'm gonna duplicate my light and I'm gonna place it on the other side to fill in up this area. Like trying to get the, that smooth fall of the light. Now I'm gonna select my models and move them into the center of my camera. To get this looking like the camera, it's like uh, looking from the bottom. There is two ways. The first one is selecting the camera and move it down, giving that a simple rotation. It's look nice, but uh, the perspective is a bit off. And the second way is again selecting your camera, move it down, and with your camera still selected, go to the camera properties and increase the shift value. What the shift value does, it's like keep the perspective nice and good. Like if you see the different, you will understand what I mean. And realizing that the shadows is a bit dark on the bottom part, so I'm gonna add an area light to fill in up the shadows. And uh, for the blue light that you see on the thumbnail, like I'm gonna select the inner part of the RTX, and I'm gonna give to that an emission shader. And changing the color to a blue color, I'm gonna crack the string to something higher. Feel free to pick the color that you want and play with this until you get something that you like. And for the second render, I'm gonna go ahead to add the new thing and position it in the kernel of my model. And I'm gonna add the camera. With my camera still selected, I'm gonna go to object constraint and add track to and select your empty. Now, Wherever I move the camera, it will be always looking to the empty. That can help us to create a really interesting composition. In here, just playing with the camera, like uh, trying to get something that I like. And changing my camera view from perspective to orthographic. The orthographic view can help us to create a really interesting composition. I'm gonna add the plane and set it as a background, giving to that an emission shader. For this one, we're gonna keep the lighting very simple. I'm gonna go and add an area light. In my lighting properties, I'm gonna change the shape to square and coming down to the spread and drop it to five. I'm gonna move it to side, rotate it, like trying to give it a, a bit of variation, like trying to get something interesting. Add in another area light and uh, placing it in the bottle part and give into that 80 render. 
after that just keep tweaking changing my landing position like having fun it's so funny how my piston are made just a lot of tweaking and playing with different things and uh, I always ask what are gonna happen if I move the light to side and uh, what if I change the color I think this is what to really make you stand out I'm not with this idea of sticking to one thing just a simple wonder can change everything and that and that's it this is how I create Star Thunder if you really enjoy the content like and subscribe and stay connected with me on Instagram I'm very really active there Aside from that, thanks you for watching, have a beautiful day, my friend.